let's talk about the different growth hormone releasing peptides. And there's some moralin, which is the first generation peptide, the GJC-1295, there's more second generation, and there's tesmorelin. So the difference between the three, smorelin is the first peptide that came out to help increase growth hormone, has a very short half-life. Some people will say that they get more hungry when they take this peptide. DJC-1295 has a longer half-life and a higher increase in IGF-1. And last, there's tesmorelin. Tesmorelin has the highest release IGF-1, and that can help reduce visceral fat. Now, trying to pick between the three is really going to be a decision between you and your practitioner. Smorelin, a lot of times, if that may be the only one you have access to, but just know that you may have to dose it more frequently or dose it higher. CJC-1295 for morelin, I really do like that one for body composition and more for athletic performance. Tesmorelin, highest again, highest increase in IGF-1, very good for reducing visceral fat, very good for improving body composition. But again, some people will do better on tesmorelin, they'll feel better on CJC. Some people may feel better on Samorolin. So that decision on which peptide to use to increase your natural growth hormone production is going to be a decision made between you and your practitioner.